Hi, my name is Katie. I'm a second year master's student in the civil engineering department at the University of Maine, and I'm advised by Dr. Roberto Lopez Anito. I'll be discussing a portion of my research work with a poster entitled Thermomechanical Recycling of 3D Printed Formwork Characterization of Thermoplastic Composite Rheological Properties. And for the big picture, I'm studying the effects of material recycling on large format additive manufactured thermoplastic composites with an app with a specific application as concrete formwork. And the AM process is typically considered to be a green process. However, there are tons of waste generated annually due to the manufactured objects being landfilled after their useful life. So to increase the sustainability of this process, the end of life treatment can be material recycling. However, the recycling process can negatively impact both fiber reinforcement and polymer matrix material properties. So the purpose of this poster is to display rheological properties throughout one recycling cycle um, and to monitor property retention within this cycle. So my methodology included manufacturing forms for both bio-based and synthetic material systems and casting concrete within these forms. And following the casting of the concrete, the forms were recycled using a two-step process where the first step was shredding of the material into small pieces. And then the second step was extruding this um, shredded material and pelletizing it into feedstock. So the next step in my methodology was the conduction of rheological tests using a parallel plate rheometer with a one millimeter gap. Um, I conducted both shear and oscillatory tests. And the purpose of these tests were to determine the complex modulus, complex viscosity, and the apparent viscosities of the materials um, at three different stages within the recycling cycle. So the first stage would be pre-recycle, and I'll refer to that as the baseline. The second stage is the shredded material within the recycling, and I'll refer to that as the R1 granulate. And the third stage would be the repelletized material within the recycling cycle, and I'll refer to that as the R1 pellet. So the oscillatory test showed that both materials are non-Newtonian and shear thinning um, fluids. And so essentially what this means is that the rheological properties will um, describe the deformation behavior and the flow behavior of these materials due to that classification. And shown in figure four um, are the complex viscosities for both the synthetic and bio-based material systems. And figure four shows that there are varying degrees of material degradation throughout the recycling process where the synthetic material experienced a minor degradation between the baseline R1 granulate and R1 pellet, and the bio-based material system experienced a noticeable decrease between the um, in the complex viscosity during and after the recycling. So figure five shows a similar trend where the change in complex modulus for all stages of the synthetic material is minimal but the changes in the complex modulus for the bio-based material system is sizable. And I conducted a statistical analysis to determine whether or not the changes that we're seeing in these plots are actually statistically significant. And so this analysis confirmed that there is a statistical significance in the decrease in both complex modulus and complex viscosity for the bio-based material. And this analysis showed that there was no statistical significance between um, the, the synthetic material. So this just means that the synthetic material had a better complex property retention when compared to the bio-based material. And the shear tests yielded similar results um, as the complex, as the oscillatory tests. So the herschel bulkley model was used to model the apparent viscosities of each material at the shear rate experienced during extrusion or experienced during 3D printing. And both materials experienced degradation where the decrease in viscosity for the baseline, between the baseline and the R1 pellet for the synthetic material was approximately 65%. And the decrease between the viscosity of the baseline and the R1 pellet for the bio-based material was approximately 120%. So 
In conclusion, these results will have impacts on the material's processability and will effectively alter the parameters by which they can be 3D printed at. And following this work, additional material characterization will be conducted for the recycled material. And in, in addition, concrete will be cast in the R1 forms, and then the forms will be recycled a second time. So thank you.